everyone. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how we can use uh, these QVD metadatas. Uh, and I'm going to use a loop so that we can do that auto automatically for multiple files. Uh, so I'm going to use a loop for each loop here. So uh, let's, uh, if you, by the way, if you haven't watched my previous video, uh, do watch that I created that I, I have shown that how you can use this XML files in the QVD uh, to get the header metadata. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to use is um, I'm going to use for each loop here. So in this one, I'm going to say v file in so this is uh, other another function filed file list so this basically gives us all the name of the files that are available in a particular direct so it's a very useful function when you're trying to uh, load the data from you know multiple files or uh, especially creating the metadata for your tenant or your um, files and why you create that it can be you know uh, there are some things available, but if in case of um, you know, QVD, you might want to you know have the all the QVDs at one place so that you can go to an application and see you know what QVDs are there and you want to manage their data. Or another example could be um, that you want to see that okay which QVD is being refreshed and which is not, uh, so that you know um, uh, you can see that in here uh, in your application. You can build an application for that. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to for uh, how to, you know, use this particular path here. So in order to use that, uh, I have to write the path here, but I along with the masking here. So I already have this uh, in here and just look at the path that we are using. So here we go. So we have to write this thing as in Staric in this one. And then I'm going to definitely I'm going to use next so it, it can be along with that function or not. another thing that we need to do need to do is now i have to replace the path with v file here so that it reads the file when it's required so now i have changed it. so now it's going to uh, read the all the files dynamically in here and here we go You see now it's looping and uh, because of uh, everything is same the exactly same fields uh, so each thing is uh, being uh, uh, piled up on top of each other uh, concatenated automatically and uh, loaded successfully now if i go to my front end part so you see i have all the files and if you see if you notice there is one file which is showing you know a qvw because it has been created by qvw or uh, click file uh, has it been using the desktop it would have been shown that particular path but if it is uh, it has been created using a uh, uh, click view tenant uh, click sense talent so it's going to use the id of the uh, document uh, we can uh, we'll see that in in future videos uh, you can see that how you can uh, get this created document number okay so you can see that in this case uh, apart from also from this part so the raw table that created this one was employee data whereas the new table that got created is employee statistic table cross table so uh, this is another difference uh, you will see in here okay so uh, and then you can you know build uh, you can use source table um, and the table names uh, for other uses if you want to build a lineage or etc but the main thing here is you get the, the metadata and it's up to you how you can use this particular data um, so that's very much for it. Uh, in the next part, we're going to use another loop uh, for each um, uh, field value list. So we can see that, you know, in this case, it's getting all the values from a directory. So or you can use the masking to get that. What if we want to just load certain tables? Uh, how we can do that? So I'm going to uh, use that in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.